Hall of Nine, the University, and Hearth Home. I'm actually going to vote Hall of Nine here. I'm also fine with Hearth Home, though. And of course, while we're getting through the boring stuff, if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Mighty. And if you're a returning viewer, I always appreciate it, so make sure to sub so you can catch the daily content. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't the university there, because I'm back to Caitlyn and I'm trying to do some grinding here. Armor start and gold. These aren't the best units that I could get, but I guess I'll just buy them. I want to keep Mal's, and then it's probably Maokai. Alright, we have Gargoyles plus a Glove. I want to level here, so I think I'm selling these to try and level. And I'd rather hold, like, Cho Mal pair, probably. Lead. Alright, it's Stars are Born every time here. Those were very good units, though. It's an Orn item. I mean, I know I'm taking this. It's a Void Start. The question is, do I go ahead and buy one of these one costs, or do I just chill? And I think the answer is I'm supposed to just chill. Yeah, I'm supposed to just chill. And then gargoyles here. Trickster's glass? I'll take a trickster's glass. And I can hit 10 here, which is major. This kind of wants to end up as a Callista comp, because I've heard trickster's glass Callista is just OP. But, I mean, if I'm doing that, probably want to buy the Samira, right? I'll buy the Samira. This guy's on Ravenous Hunter, by the way. That was just something important to note. He is on Ravenous Hunter. I think having the Samira in is still just strictly better than Maokai. But I want to hold Maokai if I can. And the reason we have Cho solo frontline right now is just to try and get as much value out of this Gargoyles as possible. But this is just absolutely, usually, a Callista line from this spot. This should be a win. That stupid Eternal Winter almost getting us out of our win streak. Karma is not bad either. I'm definitely buying Mouse 2 right now. The question is, I think I do buy Karma. Because Kar like, you really just want one of these three-star carries to have a Trickster's Glass. But if I'm doing that, I really want this set too. And at this point, I'm just not buying it. Our two best options on Carousel are going to be Rod plus Bow. It's like Rod, Bow, Belt, I think. I don't think it's worth holding set here for the gold, but maybe it is. It can't be, right? Rod, Bow, Belt. Belt's on a Karma. It's nothing to scoff about. So now we just want Belt Karma if possible. Hall of Nine, a lot of the time... Okay, well, is he going to go for Glove or Tear? I'm going for the Belt. Because now I just have Karma Pair. There's no way I'm selling Karma Pair. I think I'm supposed to level here and just throw in the Karma. Throw in the Karma, by Cast Pair. If I need to slam a Guard Breaker, I will. But it's definitely Trickster's Glass on her. The question is, what am I, or what other items am I putting there? If I end up going full Invokers, I'm thinking... Guard Breaker, JG. It could also just be like JG Gunblade. Right now I'm just holding these Ionian units just in case because I will probably swap at some point. Like if I had Cast 2 here, I would immediately swap. Let's look at this guy. He's at 20 gold, Spore Sork, 3 Void. I think, I mean, I'm winning this one every time. I just have so many upgrades. Was this guy also? No, no, he was just Ancient Archives. But Karma and Callista are like the two go-tos, I think, for this. There's also like a Noxus variant, but I'm out of the Noxus variant at this point. All right, we just hit a Karma 2. We have Karma 2 at 2-7. That just needs to be what I play around. So if I'm just playing around Karma 2 at 2-7, I can go ahead and swap this out. Swap this out. I'm winning no matter what there, but it allows me to hold this pair. Sell this off, sell this off. Let's make sure we didn't get gold. Oh, we got a bunch of gold. I mean, we still sell it off now. Rod, okay. So we did hit the JG. The question is, how do we play this Cassidy 2 still for now? And there's our Callista, what is this? 
a tome invoker emblem i mean we're just going invoker emblem i think all right let's level here we'll roll a couple times set pair i didn't get it off in time if we fight the guy who's wind streaking this is bad uh, trickster's glass goes here we're definitely jg'ing here uh, stone plate sunfire And for now, we can give this Invoker, because why not? Just making sure we're getting this win. Which we still might not, honestly. Can we kill this stupid Maokai? Get him out of here. Thank you. We can sell that off. We can hit Invokers this round. This could also give me an Ionian Emblem. Knowledge Download definitely isn't it. I probably want not Dedication. Oh, I guess it's Martyr. I think it's Martyr. I have a lot of pairs here. I should, I could roll, but it might not be correct. It's definitely correct for me to swap out something like one of these Ionians for Soraka. Get four Invoker in. I don't think I'm ever playing Zed anyways. Can I get six Invoker? Yeah, so I don't need Cass either. I can just hit 50 here and play towards hitting level eight probably. I might roll on seven to try and hit Six Invoker. This belt I could also try and slam. I mean, Ari is the obvious choice typically whenever you're looking at this comp. And that was the other Wind Streaker. Let's make sure we aren't contested. Deadeye, Bruiser, Strategist, Shadow Isles, Challenger, Targon. All right, we're good. Don't want to clump because there's a J4 running around that I could fight. This is not the J4. I think my cat just jumped into something. I wish these were on the opposite side so they weren't getting chilled by this stupid Vi, though. This is still fairly close. I just don't think we're winning just because of this. Yeah, it's the Vi. If I had a gun blade, that's winnable. Yeah, that's 100% winnable with a gunblade. Items, I mean, rod is always our go-to. Sword's probably next, and we can just GS, and I'm fine with that. After that, probably, like, belt. Bow is fine. Bow Galio, because it gives me the upgrade, is fine. All right, now it's just belt. All right, well, now it's cloak. I'm never building second Sunfire, so armor is not the correct choice there. Typically, invokers, I'm playing Soraka, Jin, Lissandra, Karma rise if i can get to it and in the meantime i can't level here but i think Tarek is in too it's like Tarek plus another ionian of course do we win this fight probably not right not by the looks of it yeah we don't have enough of a front line right now to win this fight it's all right we gained so much gold early from that win streak so if we have these five, we play Taric next, this would work. And then we want to play just one of the other Ionians. Debating on taking, I guess it doesn't matter right now. It could be Aurelia, it could be Set. It could just be like Yasuo, probably Yasuo. And that's our seven. And then Rise could be kind of whatever there. Notice I saved a little gold here, by the way. I saved gold to try and just get the free level at the cost of a little bit of life probably because this looks like it could have been winnable with an extra unit well maybe not winnable but it would have been a lot closer nasus does not feel like he's it he's definitely just Tarek. question is do i roll here i think the answer is yes oh we had a shin immediately well that gets replaced i mean what am i looking for then Lissandra for six invoker and then maybe an upgrade so I could roll for that yeah I'm gonna roll a little bit I mean that gives me four targon or three targon I put a Felios here I could try this and then see what happens this is definitely an ionic spark by the way 100% of the time this is gonna be an ionic spark and then this is a static shiv it could be rage blade here but I think it's just static shiv here Can we slam the belt here?
Yeah, I want to roll just to get probably one more upgrade. Do we win this? No, right? Yeah, one unit loss I'm fine with, though. Morning Light, not it here. Contagion's fine. Gifts is fine. Unified's also okay. I think I'm going to go Contagion. Oh, we hit Ari? I mean, this is the new plan. Invoker Ari. I should still roll some. We hit Taric too. Am I rolling for any more upgrades here? Probably not, right? I still need a Lissandra, but I think we're stable enough. This is seven Shereman. This is seven Shereman, and like this is honestly pretty good, noting like what we're at. Yeah, yeah, he's at seven, ten gold too. He does have last stand though, to be fair to him. But I think we just go eight now and then try and hit Karma three there. And we add in hopefully a Rise, if not Lissandra. Am I fighting anyone over Invokers? No, no, no. This guy's on eight void though, which is worrisome. Strategists, Juggernaut, no. Okay, we're not fighting anyone then. This Aurelia could also still be Shin, or not Shin, but Yasuo. And the Soraka, I could swap Soraka out to Static Shift Ari. And I think that might be the play too. This is Ravenous Hunter Warwick guy, and he still has not hit a three-star Warwick. I know the feels, and it feels really bad, honestly. And he's still like four off. Yeah, he's still four off from his three-star. Last pick, we have a rod. We're never getting Swordheim. We probably, I guess we want JG, right, for Ari? I think it's Glove Aphelios, and we're not getting Glove Aphelios. We have, we have a hanging belt. We just want redemption then. Can you give it to me? Thank you. All right, well, redemption. Do we level here and roll? Probably. All right, we hit a Lissandra. That's six invoker. Now we can try and get our gold back. I'll sell the Galio. I do think I swapped these. Oh, he wrapped on me. That's bad. That means that I need to move around to make sure I don't get wrapped on like that in the future. Getting wrapped is really bad. Should not be getting wrapped at all. Especially since it wrapped on my karma too. Oh, this is a win though. Bang, that's the third time Ari ulted that round. That guy's going for level nine though. So that's another note. Lissandra two. I mean, there are a lot of upgrades that I can hit. Shin, I am rolling just because of how many upgrades I have possible. There's Soraka, there's a karma. Really was looking for Yasuo. Ari? I mean, I take, I take Ari Pair here. I can't believe he's playing Deadeye Ari, by the way. I actually don't even need Aurelia at all. What am I thinking? I need to take Aurelia out. I need another frontliner though. Probably just Sejuani. So I need to look for Sejuani's. Yeah, that's Ari can come out. And on it, or I mean, double Shin is actually better than just one star Aurelia. I could also lean into a Demacian, like J4 Lux, but that doesn't seem too great. All right, what's the best item here? We have a rod, probably sword or JG. It's just JG, I think. I wish I could open this first now though. There's Yasuo. There's Sejuani. That's what I meant to say. All right, let's see. Zanya's sniper's focus. I kind of like Zanya's for this, but it's close. Sniper's focus here. Sniper's focus here. I'm going to go sniper's focus here, JG here. So now we have both of our main carries with the JG. Oh, Ari actually dealing a whole bunch of damage there. Okay, this is actually a winnable fight. I did not think we would be able to win this fight, but it's 100% a winnable fight. Okay. And we still don't even have a two-star Shin. We're still close on two-star Ari. And we still have a Karma 3 possibility. How many Shins are out? Three, six, six Shins are out of the pool. I think I'm supposed to just save and roll at 50 at this point though. The bow, I guess I put here. I can fight here, which is the Targon Bastion Invoker comp. Here. Okay, neither of these people have like dead eye or something I need to move around to worry about. Oh, he does have a Zephyr. I didn't see that. Honestly, I think Ari's been dealing more damage slightly, though.
Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong because the uh, the karma can target the back line, and karma killing his shin is probably how he loses this fight. So that's on me. I should have moved last second. There's a sedge pair. This guy does not actually have a zephyr or anything though. I do need to stop clumping so much though. I'm gonna move around a little bit just so I don't get wrapped again. Getting wrapped again is an easy way to lose this game. There's my first Ari ult. If only that had triggered his Zanyas though, that would have been really, really good. All right, we triggered the Zanyas that time for sure. We still win, okay. He was only level seven, but he was win streaking and he did have shins, so. I think this is guaranteed top two. Oh, give me Ari JG. That gives me Ari two. I don't care that it's, a, that it's a JG. I honestly thought he would deny me from that. That's my Ari two. This guy just hit Senna two. He rolled down at nine. This JG, I think, actually goes on Lissandra. We are fighting bruisers now. I'm going to move this last second. Bang. Move right after the last time he comes by. Ari three or Ari two star with just a whole bunch of ults should be great here. Oh, but then that, that Scion stun from that far away? Bang. Oh, it didn't happen in time. All right, I do need to roll for sure. If I can hit Karma 3, I probably win the game. The question is, is it possible? We did just hit Sedge 2. That's an upgrade. I'm going to roll. Sedge is... In, I don't care about Sedge. There's our Shin 2. It's another big upgrade. All right, so we're, now we sell here, here. And we'll sell these if we win. But we've kind of hit all the upgrades that we can now. Oh, I just gave him a free kill. I gave him a free kill on that, on my edge unit by positioning that way. So I can avoid that moving forward though. Oh, this is a loss? I don't feel like this should be a loss. All right, let's sell this too. I think we need to, to try and hit, if we hit Karma 3, that's our way out here. We should be guaranteed top two at this point though. So there's that. I need to move this in one just to make sure that doesn't happen again. Is this, does this guy have Zephyr? He does. And this guy is the Void guy. They'll have to fight each other for, like I think next round he fights Min, right? So I'm guaranteed. All right, let's check the item really quick. Shroud, Gunblade, Bloop, Buff. I actually kind of like ZZ Rot. I'm going Rot here. I think that's better still. I shouldn't have built that. There's one Karma. Another Ari is not what I need. Put ZZ Rot there. I could have backed up as well to dodge. And that might have been the play. Oh, this bow I need to throw here. All right, we win this one. And I think this guy should get knocked out, preferably. Or preferably. Is this top two? Oh, wait. Is 8 Void beating this guy? No, right? Because he still has the Aphelios alive. I think that... Oh, wait. That Aphelios almost died to the Kaisalt. Yeah. Okay. Top two. All right. Give me Karma, please. Karma. Karma. That is not Karma. None of these are Karma. We missed on Karma completely. That feels really bad. I think he hits one of them. He gets a 50 this time, though. So hit this one. Hit this one. Mother. Why does it always hit the right one? Every time. I am the unluckiest person alive. Just hit the wrong one, one time, and stop stunning my backline. That's actually okay news. Hey, this is possible now. The Ari ults right after. Hit the Felios, kill it. Oh, it didn't kill it. That's our way of winning. I mean, he said I, he doesn't think I can break the Sinna shield. We're one karma off. I think that was solely just the fact that we got Zephyred, honestly. We didn't get Zephyred. We're probably fine. Did I get Zephyred again? Uh, he has a 50-50 on the Ari this time. 50-50 on the Ari, I think, is better for me than 50-50 on the Karma. Honestly. Like, 50-50 on the Ari actually gives me a chance. 50, 50 on Karma, I don't think does. Because the Ari has a chance to hit the back line. It's a loss, for sure. 
Unless we like randomly killed it. Yeah. I'll take a second. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.